You know, you walk into any corporate business in the world, any business, and you talk to any, you know, high level management officer, any hiring boss, and you ask them, point blank, what do they look for when hiring somebody? And the law say the same thing. The law say the exact same thing. It will be something along the lines of finding a compatible personality, right? Someone who can handle pressure. Someone who can enhance work dynamics. Someone who can be reliable. You know, people, they get stuck only knowing the role, but it's more than knowing the right answer. It's much more than that. Oh, okay. You have a degree. Awesome. Uh, so there's 11 other people in that hallway. But can I spend eight hours a day with you? Can I introduce my wife? Are you going to bring the people I work with down? Right? Even in the most competitive business worlds, personal relations are pivotal. They're, they're, they're pivotal to any successful business. So like, I'm not going to say people have to like each other, but your personality, it cannot be an anchor in the workforce. It cannot be, you know, for the people you surround yourself down, you cannot be harming the environment. Okay, that's business one-on-one. And it's the same thing in the NBA. It's the exact same thing. Rashid Walsh, a few days ago, the man who is primarily known for, you know, getting the most technical fouls ever, a record that would never be beaten. You know, he's like, we know him as a tough guy. He's, he was a hothead. But he became the assistant coach of the prestigious Lakers. Very interesting. Okay, so... Let's break this down. Darvin Ham, right, is coming into a complete new situation. So Darvin Ham will be suiting up as the new Lakers head coach. A role that got passed on by a few big names, mainly because I think we can all a bit of agree it's a bit of a, a death row job, right? You're working with a ex all star, a ex star, ex superstar, who doesn't seem to be coming to terms that his great days are well behind him in Westbrook. Like, the Westbrook factor, him alone, makes this job just worse enough. Then you have Anthony Davis, who is, you know, he's Anthony Davis. He's flaky, and he's unreliable, and he doesn't really seem to be improving, even though he clearly has a potential. And behind those two doors is LeBron. And how do you coach LeBron? It's been, that's a question that has perplexed coaches for decades now. Like, there's no, there's no development with LeBron. Uh, game sense, he's smarter than you. He's as smart as any player ever. But, you know, it's a yin and yang thing. With that pedigree, he obviously has a lot of control over the team. So it just makes him very difficult to coach, right? And obviously, the authority side of this, players today, they grew up with LeBron posters on their wall. This is Darvin Ham's first coaching position. So what does he do? I love this, right? Well, first, obviously, we're going to ship down all these assistant coaches. You're all out of here, right? I don't really know. I don't really know who the other two are, but Fizdale, you're gone. So everyone's gone, right? And so now there's no real, like, undermining, you know, undermining coaches. There's no association to the god-awful Lakers here, right? Very wanting to be forgotten Lakers season. And it's all new blood. And I argue signing Rasheed Wallace was a power move more than anything, right? Let me find someone who isn't afraid of LeBron, who will stand up to him if needed. Check, like a, like a Udonis Haslam of sorts, right? Even he, he can even mentor Anthony Davis, get on Anthony Davis, right? And that's what this was. This was a personality signing rather than, hey, let me get a, a great X's and O's guy. We know Wallace and Han, they're boys. We know they're boys. They want to championship together as part of that superstar list Pistons team in 04, terrific team, very memorable team. So now, Ham has one of his boys in the trenches. You know, and I don't think Wallace has any, you know, ulterior future motives of a head coaching position. I don't think he's going to, you know, backstab him down the line. No, all he's going to be is the enforcer. That's it. That's all he needs to be. I mean, let's look at some history from Sheed and LeBron, right? Why would you get Sheed, right? It's a very interesting question because it was just last year. It was just last year. That she threw shots at LeBron. I mean, it's a ridiculous thing to say. It's it's ridiculous. But but it speaks to the type of guy that she is, right? There's zero fear in him. There's zero like uh, sucking up. Zero, oh my god, you're LeBron star struck adoration. No. No, we're not even mentioning like the Pistons and Cavs. They had battles in the two thousands, like battles where okay, yes, LeBron did destroy that team piece by piece, but uh, that was after 
Like, what, Rashid and those boys, they sent LeBron packing in his first ever playoff appearance. People forget that. You know? And I, the personality reasons, this was the same reason LeBron bought Westbrook. Exact same reason. I believe, like, let's take it back to 2021. The Lakers coming off a championship, they lose in the first round. And Davis is, you know, he's classic Davis. No one knows if he is playing, but when he did play, he got outplayed by DeAndre Ayton. So, how about we scrap this? LeBron are bringing in Westbrook to, you know, be the bad guy to LeBron's good guy, right? Westbrook has no problem getting on guys. Westbrook won't stand for slacking off or not giving 100% in one of his first real legitimate final chances. And all obviously, now in retrospect, that move completely backfired his face, big time. But I believe when considering the options that there was, LeBron picked Westbrook because he could be the dude who yells at Davis. Because LeBron's not going to do that. <laughs> that's that's not LeBron. It doesn't, it doesn't fall in like LeBron James's brand. Now, Darvin Ham's identity as a coach, yes, it's still a little bit murky, but we know he's been here for a while. Right, he, he he knows stuff, and he knows that the head coach and the best player, especially when that player is league veteran and front office secret guy, LeBron James, that you have to have a good relationship with your star player. That means when it's time to crack down, hey, Sheed, do your thing. Hey, Sheed, keep them all in line. And this is what this was, right? Not an X is an O signing. It was a personality one. Okay, if you like this video, like and subscribe. We're uploading videos tomorrow, today, every day. Like and subscribe. Two, one.